Most people think that the battery life will be extended if it's not fully charged and discharged. Is that so? Yes. But are you willing to do this? When designing the battery, the capacity case to 80% or less, which is called the circle life of the battery, the shallow charge and discharge, deep charge and discharge, the professional terms are depth of charge and depth of discharge. So today, let's talk about the charging methods for lithium batteries. Hey friends, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Will. Come for the lithium battery tips and stick for the humber bag. During overcharging, the cathode material loses electrons and the oxidizes during the charging process, and the lithium ions run through the cathode material. If overcharged, the structure of the positive electrode material will change, and oxygen will be decomposed, which will cause volume mechanical reaction explosion with the electrolyte or negative electrode excessive reduction of accumulated lithium ions. While for the overdischarge, during the discharge process of a lithium battery, all the lithium ions in the negative electrode and electrolyte run to the positive electrode, resulting in the reduction reaction. The positive electrode material is limited, and the excessive discharge will accumulate lithium ions at the positive electrode, forming lithium dendrites, which pierce the insulating diaphragm between the positive and negative electrode materials of lithium battery. Subsequent use will bring about the risk of internal short circuit and the thermal runaway and the reversible damage of positive and negative active substances will also bring about permanent loss of capacity. With this, we understand that overcharge and discharging will not only affect the service life, but also damage the battery. So when using lithium batteries, do we have to share the charge and share the discharge? So next, let's talk about shallow charging and shallow deep charging of lithium batteries. As for the statement that shallow charge and shallow discharge increase the service life of the battery, but in fact, it's more about extending the service life of the battery, the service life of the battery itself has not increased much, so we don't have to worry about it. We are all consumers, and these problems have been considered for us. Because lithium batteries are BMS, when designing overcharge voltage and overdischarge voltage, they have been shallow charged and shallow discharged. It seems that they have been discharged, but there is still a lot of electricity in them. It seems that they have fully charged, but they can still be charged. And for example, the full charge voltage of Leon batteries is 4.2 volts, and over discharge voltage is 2.7 volts, which is a combination of circle life, capacity assurance, and use safety. So we don't really need to worry about it. Some people say that on this basis, can the life of the shallow charging and shallow discharging be increased? Well, energy is certain, but the main of the battery energy storage is lost. So what's your choice? Okay, this is the end. Hope you like it. I'm Will. See you next time. Bye.